CataractCoach.com, intumescent white cataract options, techniques to help avoid the dreaded calps run out. Now, we've shown this video before of a highly pressurized intumescent white cataract, and we can make our main incision here. So what happens if we don't decompress it? Well, in a case like this where it's somewhat pressurized, we can just get the rexus done, but watch what happens. As I do this rexus, it wants to run out on me. Look at that. I got to use that little maneuver, pull backwards, and do a capsule rescue technique. And again, I can complete the rexus here, but watch. As I go over here, I've got to pull in the opposite direction just so it doesn't run out. So there's less control this way. And there's all that intumescent lens material. Let's show you another case. Here's another one. Needle decompression often does work. So go inside with a needle, aspirate, remove a lot of the trapped uh, liquefied lens cortex. Now get the rexus done. You can also do a double rexus technique, which means do one small rexus first, then you'll enlarge it. But here, at this point, it's decompressed enough that you can get a complete rexus done. And this is a resident surgeon who's operating, so nice complete rexus there. What about this one? Look, it's extra pressurized, super pressurized. This is the danger one. With this extra pressurized capsule, because there's so much pressure within the bag, even if we go in with a deepened AC and a highly pressurized AC, as soon as you hit it with the needle, what's going to happen? As you know, it's going to break. So now what? Now you've got to recover. Okay, here's why if you do this, you have to rock the nucleus. So in the previous case, it was zero nucleus grosses. This case has a nucleus, and it has cortex surrounding the nucleus in all directions that's liquefied. So we aspirate a little bit here, and now what we can do is we can rotate it around, rock it back and forth, release more. Look at that, more milk came out. That milk is the liquefied lens cortex. So again, liquefied cortex surrounds the denser nucleus. Once you make a puncture here, you'll get some of the lens milk out. You can aspirate it. But then you need to rock the nucleus because you still have more liquefied cortex that's trapped. Once you rock it and release that cortex, now you can aspirate it all out. The bag is depressurized, and you can continue your rexus here. So now that the bag has been depressurized, and you've gotten out the liquefied lens material. Now, look, the rexus is relatively easy to do. You don't have that posterior pressure that's going to cause the risk for the capsule to run out there. Now, here's another one with the femtosecond lasers. Okay, lasers are great too, but if you look at the femtosecond laser, it wasn't a complete rexus. And the reason is, it takes a little bit of time to make the capsule rexus or capsulotomy. And as the laser starts to puncture the lens capsule, liquefied lens material leaks out. So going inside, you can see there's still a couple attachments there and there. And now you can complete the case here. You can also use the phaco probe to puncture the anterior lens capsule. If it's a very highly pressurized capsule or bag, intumescent lens milk filling the bag, again, using the phaco probe to puncture a single hole there, keep the probe in the eye with high infusion pressure. Don't let the AC collapse. Now through the side port, you can use your scissotome or other small forceps and create just some kind of capsule opening. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just wants to be continuous. That's the key here. So make some little small rexus. We'll do the double rexus technique here. Once we complete that rexus, there it is. We'll get that mostly completed. That's it. More viscoelastic going inside the eye. So now what do you do with this ugly rexus? Well, let's decompress the bag by aspirating out all that lens material. And again, no nucleus gross here, just soft lens cortex in a young patient. And again, now at this point, once you remove all that, now you can put the lens in, clean up a little bit, and then we can enlarge the rexus to the size that you want. So here, the lens can go in the capsule bag, and you don't have to leave the ugly rexus. You can now enlarge it and have a nice, pretty 5 millimeter rexus, and patient has a beautiful outcome, nice and safe and easy. So again, these are great options. Now, there's another option, which is the Zepto device, and I am a consultant to Centricity Vision who makes this device. Here's an intumescent white cataract. This is me operating. You can collapse this device, put it through a 2.2, 2.4 incision, aspirate and put a little suction pressure there and holds this ring onto the lens capsule. Once you achieve that suction, in four milliseconds, boom, there's a little burst of energy, and that creates a beautifully round capsulotomy. At this point, the rest of the case is pretty easy. There's the capsule, and it's perfectly round, and it's strong, and there's no risk of capsule run out here. So all these are very reasonable choices. If you have an intumescent white cataract coming up, do something special, like we showed you here, to avoid capsule run out and have a safe case. Remember, check out our podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, 
you will become a better surgeon just by listening to it.